What's going on YouTube? Today I'm in my office to show you my hammock hang. This is the Chameleon by uh, Dutch Wear Gear. Sorry about that. Light. Bad light. Bad light. Bad light. Bad light. Bad light. Bad light in the office. Up until recently, I've been using the Eno gear with the 5 16 bolt to hang the hammock up. I've got one over here. Okay. But I've just recently found something different that gives me a lot more flexibility because with the Eno, if I want to, or an, even with an eye bolt, if I want to change the height of the hammock, I have to drill a new hole like this. And that's a big hole. But every time you do that, you weaken the two by four. It's easier, pardon me again, to use regular decking screws. Less detrimental to the studs in the wall. Uh, what I'm using, oh, again, ill-prepared, <laughs> is this track right here. Takes This is a foot long. Takes three recessed screws in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And allows me to adjust the hang of the hammock. I've got this marked out in increments 68, 70, 72, 74. I think I need to adjust this one down though. This will, it's at the bottom, you know, not quite the bottom, but I need to come down a little bit more on it to give me more flexibility because this is way too high. Way too high. I don't think I'd ever hang a hammock that far <laughs> or that high. This is 168 inches between the two walls. The hang points and basically all I did was put screws in the see how easy that was oh, I'm doing this one-handed with a hammock hanging on there not too bad Allows for easy adjustment up and down, and I can actually hang other stuff on here as well with, you know, some auxiliary hardware. And the nice thing I like about this is, let me get this Eno again, without the bolt. I don't need the bolt. Come here. Ah, bolt's trying to be pain in the butt. Nice thing I like about this. This is the Eno against the wall. It sits, you know, slightly lower profile. So you take that off, you take your hammock down, take the, the hook off, you've got a really low profile. It can be used for other things other than just hanging a hammock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you hanging the hammock on this side. All right, so uh, let's get started. Maybe, possibly, potentially. Can you see that? No, nope, you can see the guitars. Get you a little bit better view. My office is a disaster area. Take the Dutchware hammock down with the Dutchware beaner <coughs> and Derek Hansen's The Ultimate Hang. <laughs> that was in the, the peak shelf. All right, so I want to show you this as well. I don't know how well 
you can see that, but that's a nice big hole. And then there's a divot in the uh, drywall where the Eno you know, dug in. And that's unavoidable. Um, if you try not to break the drywall by not tightening it down, then it's not tight and it's going to swing and tear up the drywall anyways. So you have to tighten it down to the point where it, ah, my guitar, I hit it, where it tears up the drywall. Whereas this, since you've got smaller screws over a longer uh, run and a more rounded profile on it, it won't dig into the uh, drywall, okay? Alright, so what I've done is I've measured up 64 inches from the floor. Slightly lower than that one over there. Uh, because that'll give me pretty much the room that I need. This huge hole right here, it's not going to be there anymore. It's going to be covered up by this. So, I've measured up 64 inches. Pre-drilled my holes, marked and pre-drilled my holes for the mount, and verified with a stud finder the locations of the stud. There's the edge of the stud, so I took a straight edge and marked where that stud is. Or not a straight edge, actually a level. Now, with the power tools, I'm going to install the mount. Get the screws started. And if you notice, well, do this. This hole is closer to the edge or the end than this hole is. So I'm putting this hole at the top, this mounting hole. Don't ask me why. It just makes sense to me. I don't know. And just that simple. This is the mounting hardware that I ordered. And I was a little bit too hasty when I ordered all of this from this company. Did a little bit more research the other day and I found that I can actually get this hanger without this hook or this ring, which might be a good thing. Might be a bad thing, I don't know. Uh, I've got it with the ring. I can use it without the ring, like I've got on that one over there. I've got the uh, Dutchware Beaner through this portion right here, rather than through here. I can use this for an auxiliary hook for whatever. But, This is about the 70 foot, 70 inch mark right here. Just below that. So I'm gonna hang this down around here. All you do is push these two lugs on there, line them up with a hole, push them in and lock it up. That simple. And then, move you out of the way here. Because the tarp's going there. Or not the tarp. The hammock! Oh, grab my... That's where a beer. Go in through there. And 
and it's hung up. That simple. You want to watch me fall on my butt? <laughs> Let's see how this works. All right. So, I'll take my pillow out, take my down comforter out. Take the ultimate hangout. And let's see. Oh, take that out. I need that. And I haven't fallen yet. What do you think? You've got three smaller screws carrying the load that one bolt would carry for the Eno or the I bolt. Uh, be honest with you, this is a little bit more expensive than the eleven twelve dollar you know and a couple dollars for an eye bolt but what this does for you is it gives you a lot more flexibility being able to adjust the hammock up and down without having to drill more holes in the studs so it's six and one hand half dozen and the other it's going to cost you something somewhere down the line all right but this gives you a lot of flexibility for hanging in the house which i enjoy I like hanging around in the house. So, if you're new here, I appreciate it. Thank you. Go ahead and uh, hit that little red subscribe button for me. If you can see me. Terrible lighting in here, I know. Uh, bad for a photographer, right? And uh, if you haven't already, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, give me a thumbs down if you don't. Always leave comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, check out this video right here. It's picked for you just by YouTube or by YouTube or I gotta figure out how to say that actually. And then this is my most recent. Y'all have a good one. Bye.